you looking at my bike? So this is the first bike camping trip uh, that I've ever done and the total route is about 80 miles so I'm heading from my home over to Stockport don't judge me, wrong colour rose um, you join me here on the Trans Pennine Trail this is Burn Airfield, Second World War uh, disused airfield but it's part of the Trans Pennine Trail now so uh, the plan is to uh, take on water every half an hour um, take on a snack every half an hour because I find that um, pedalling uses a lot of energy and a lot of water especially today it's forecast to get to around 26 degrees and then after an hour and a half i'm going to get off the bike uh, for at least 10 or 15 minutes to stretch the legs do something else make sure i don't hurt myself um but at some point today i'm going to get to a campsite so uh between now and then is an adventure let's go So, navigation, um, I've had this particular Garmin sat-nav, it is a E-Trex Touch 35 and I have used it less than that many times, which I believe is 30. Um, so I've got the route planned out on uh, OS Maps um, in here and I also have it on uh, my phone fully downloaded so that when I get to the peak district which I'm going to be sort of working my way through um, there'll be no signal I'm expecting no signal so let's see how we get on with this who knows I'm so shiny. Um, so, an hour and a half in, and um, I started to feel tired. Um, the early onset, um, the early stages of you know feeling pretty poo. So, I've drank nearly um, one bottle of water in an hour and a half. But you can see, um, you can see how warm it is and how much um, I'm losing water so I'm taking on some uh, some carbs take on a bit more water fill that water bottle back up and then uh, and then go on there's no there's no rush today so 
you know, we get there when we get there really, um, as long as we're in a good fit state, because tomorrow we've got to ride again, um, and it's uncharted territory, I don't know how many hills there are, I've got a rough idea of how much elevation I'm going to be doing over the, the course of the trip, um, from the route, but until we start doing it we don't really know, and plus, I've not done this before, um, so I'll take it steady I think. Tractors.
I'm getting ever closer to camp and um, I've noticed that I've got red red areas of my skin um, I'm not burnt but um, I'm going to protect myself by putting this uh, sweatshirt on the sweatshirt should protect me um, from the sun and I'm just going to use that until I get to camp and uh, then I can look after my skin properly after I've um, put the tent up, had a wash and uh, just relax for the evening since I've put the trail star up um, so when uh, when you get the trail star um, I don't remember if there's any instructions but there was a, a Jedi master Nigel whose expectations from me whilst I was putting up this trail star were so high now, ultimately, it's whether Nigel's happy. And I know there's other guys out there, Tony Hobbs, probably the manufacturer themselves that have a higher standard. But to me, it's about Nigel. So, shall we have a look? See what it's all about? Um, the site is called Horton Lodge. And um, first time I've been. Uh, gated entrance and um, very secure very I mean this is a Tuesday night it's um, peaceful and um, everybody's been nice so far and um, yeah I think I've made a made a good choice here so let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at the shelter oh Stephen how do you recharge your gubbins? Well, I was wondering the same thing. So I bought this off Timu, and this is the first time we've given it a go. So at the back, I've got one of these little rapid charger Ujimars, and um, you might be able to see the little uh, light flashing as if to say it's charging. So that's that. So with the Trail Star, first time I've actually put it up um, with all of this sort of 
you know, uh, room under the sides um, in hope that it, uh, you know, allows the breeze to sort of come through because it's, you know, it's 26 degrees, I think. Um, so. This uh, piece of kit isn't a, um, well, ground sheet, I suppose. Um, we bought it, Lisa and I bought it, for um, picnics, adventures. It's waterproof, and um, in the corners there's like little pockets, so you can weigh it down with um, rocks and stuff like that. Stop it going away. Um, been a, a good little investment so far. We've used it um, a good few times, took it on holiday with us. Um, so yeah, and then we got the uh, the single person inner. Um, the reason I brought the single person, other than the fact there's only me here, is um, the oot works would have filled this area, and I don't know whether I'm going to bring the cycle in um, for protection and stuff. I've got a fairly hefty <clears throat> lock which um, the insurance company uh, wanted to have that standard of lock um, so that's what we've got it for and um, when it's you know uh, I'm gonna have a shower I mean this the site is behind gates and you know it looks very safe but you never know and so we've got that um, so I'm gonna go and have a shower and then um, I think I'm probably gonna uh, have a walk down into the into the town there and um, see if I can get some cold not alcoholic beers so the next time you'll see me I might have one of those in hand being all refreshed tired though not gonna lie um just a quick one the uh, power pack has finished charging it's it's fully up to specs up to full charge um so in like I say it's, it's just it's about nine o'clock now and I arrived at camp maybe half past three and that has been going maybe since five four hours for a full full it's not bad is it that that's very surprising just make it that way you will I mean I I had a look on the internet um, just to see what what worked and what didn't and and that has worked um, yeah I'm impressed with that yeah um, because there's, there's nowhere that, that you know there's nowhere that I've seen that I can plug anything in to charge it um, and we rely so much on energy um, but anyway yeah Prove it worked. a bicycle um, it's nearly midday um, but we're ready to go so um, see you on the trail
sit rep. So we've had dinner. Um, it's quarter to two. I've still got 22 miles um, to go. Um, wind's picked up. Um, I've flagged a little bit. Um, starting to tire my bum. Yeah, we're in a good place. You know, I'm I'm physically all right. Um, I've eaten, I've drank. So it's just a case of keep pedalling, just keep pedalling. Um, could have done myself a favour by not leaving camp so late. I simply haven't got the the, the fitness. Um, the the hills are relentless, and I can't go up them anymore. Um, I'm actually stood looking at the uh, Pennine Sailing Club um, entrance. Uh, you know, Google and all this lot are saying that my actual destination is only an hour cycle away but all I'm looking at is more hills and my legs are just just no just not happening um, so uh, I'm, I'm admitting defeat and um, turning around basically I want to head back to uh, penis stone uh, there's a train station and um, yeah I just that's the end of it. That's the end of this one. Uh, it's a shame, but you know, I'm still here, so could be worse. A lot learnt. And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, but I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right, this fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these things I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said